Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a MATLAB-like plot within the Python. The compiler we are using is the PyCharm compiler. So for it, first of all, we need to import certain modules and libraries. So our first module is import mat plot lib dot pi plot is we can say like um, we mlt okay so this is our first mate plot lib okay it's not a mate plt lib it's mate plot lib dot pi plot so what it is actually it is a library just like the matlab so an is MLT means that MLT is an object through which we use to access this main library. You are not supposed to go into depth of this library just you must have to remember that with this MLT we can access this library and can use some of its components and nothing more. And if first line gave you error then you must have to go to file then you need to go to projects setup and then setting for new projects and then python interpreter and then this plus sign and here you need to write mate plot and lib okay so you can install this and you can click on this install package and it will work fine as i have already installed so no need to install it again now the second one is import numpy is an mpi okay so this is our second library and is NMPI is the object of this library. Like with this uh, NMPI we can access this NumPy library. Okay. So and again one more thing that uh, you should have to repeat the same process if you uh, do not have NumPy installed already. So go to file, go to settings for new projects and again all the process and here you need to write NumPy. And I have already installed it okay it is in this blue color so it is installed okay now we need to write X points is equal to now we will make numpy errors X points is equal to an MPI dot array okay okay now what is this thing in my previous lectures I have explained that this array function is used to create numpy array. It will take list in the arguments in these brackets arguments and then it will make certain uh, error type structure which is called as the numpy array and then it is stored inside this x points variable. x points is just a variable you can write anything in its place okay while nmpi dot array are the specialized function for this specific task so we will write here 12 10 20 and up like a, we can say 50 so this is our first uh, line copy it and paste it out and we will write white points and npa dot array we will write here 18 and then here 20 then here 26 and here 57 okay so how how it will it will be made the plot 12 from x and this is considered as x1 uh, x2 so this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 so 12 comma 18 will will be our first point 10 comma 20 will be our second point and 20 comma 26 is our third point so now we will uh, what's called as we will plot now these points so we will write mlt dot plot uh, x points comma y points okay in this way this function that is mlt dot plot plot function actually belongs to mlt so that is why we have placed this uh, what's called as the dot function in between mlt and plot it will show its association with mlt sub module which is actually the mat plot lib dot pi plot 
now we will write mlt dot show and it will draw a graph for us okay so now i will run it out and now you can see that we have our graph here so in this way we can draw a graph for us uh, which is uh, very easy it is just like matlab you can see that in matlab we uh, used to have these type of graphs so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to make a graph within the python pycharm compiler so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe